the dialogue that takes place between Jesus and his own disciples in John chapter 14 is really quite eye-opening because uh, Jesus starts off with this uh, statement. He says, don't be troubled. Don't let your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me and my Father's house or many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you so. And so there you go. He just kind of lays it out there. Well, then Thomas gets involved in the conversation. And he simply says this. He says, we don't know the way. And so uh, now uh, everything begins to shift as far as the conversation is concerned because Jesus has been teaching them things all the time that they've been together. And he's been revealing things to them. And then there would just be times when it just seems like that they just didn't get it. But Jesus continued to teach. Well, along with this, Jesus makes that statement. He says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. And then he says that no man cometh to the Father except through me. Well, at that point, Philip gets involved in the conversation. And he says, Jesus, show us the Father, and it will suffice us. Now, if you're a student of the Word of God at all, you know that that is a, a monumental statement that Philip just made. He says, show us the Father. Think about this. I mean, we read in the book of Exodus how that when the this whole thing took place about Moses being up on the mountain with God. And Moses said, I want to see you, Lord. And the father says, no, you don't know. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't even know what you're asking. But he says to Moses, he said, I tell you what, I'm going to shield you with my hand as I just pass by. And you'll just see the, the, the last part of me as I pass by. And even with that, when Moses came down off that mountain, the people were saying, wow, you're going to have to put a veil on your face. We can't stand the glow. And here Philip is saying, Lord, just show us the Father and we'll be satisfied. And then uh, uh, sometimes when I read the scripture, I'm, I'm just uh, amazed. Because I can just imagine uh, Jesus going, Philip, Philip, Philip. <laughs> I've been trying to show you all these things that you would understand about spiritual things and about who I truly am. He says, look, if you've seen me and if you've known me, then you have seen and you have known the Father. And again, Another statement that many would say, that's blasphemy when he says, I and the Father are one. Well, that's what we teach. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, God, all God, different functions. You see, the thing is, is that the Father desires to reveal himself to us through his Spirit, and he does. It's Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.